York, if I hang on to that, I'm going to fly all the way back to Italy. Hello, and welcome to the aftermath of learning the death loop in the gym today. After being banned from the code of points, the Corbett flip remains one of the most impressive and renowned moves in the sport of gymnastics. If you're new here, my name's Sophia, and welcome to Sophia Land Gymnastics, a world of challenges, flips, and twists, and gumdrops, and fire within. I've been wanting to ramp up this English American channel um, for a long time now, and I'm finally doing it, so leave a like, subscribe if you want other crazy gymnastics content like today's. I got inspired after seeing a reel. Other gymnasts will relate, you know, when you see like a, a trick and you're like, oh my god, that looks like so much fun. Or like, I think I understand how to do that. Like, does that ever happen to you where you just see a skill and your brain is like, I know how to do that? Not always, but sometimes. And I had a moment like that, moment like this, this morning, and I decided, you know what? Let's freaking do it. Band skills, baby. Before we start this video though, very important, if you do not have a coach who knows how to teach you a new scary skill, especially a band one, and if you don't have the pre correct protection, like mats, um, the setup, uh, et cetera, if you are not going to be safe, it is so not worth it, do not do it, please. Don't do it just because it's a band skill. Do it if you have the safety put in place before you start throwing things. All right, let's get on with this. I decided to change the name of the death loop because I thought a name like, I don't know, like the rainbow of life could be a little, little, just a little nicer maybe, you know? Comment below if you have any other suggestions. So I texted Coach Tarek last night. I knew he'd be down. I was like, hey, do you wanna help me learn the death loop tomorrow? And he texted me within a few minutes, was like, be in a 10, see you tomorrow. So basically, Tarek was super, super hyped this morning. By the time I got to the gym, all the girls already knew what was going down today. And it was really exciting. A little nerve wracking, because I was like, oh boy, am I in over my head? Nah, nah. Here are the drills I did to learn it, the steps I took, and uh, if you're gonna try it, message me on Instagram or comment below, send me a video. Can't wait to see your rainbow of life coming to life. Okay, bye. So here's the first drill we set up with the edge of the blue block being like the bar, so I'm gonna start standing on there, jump off back up to my belly and try to have my hands lay right on the edge again as if it were the bar. Okay, so next step, I want to try with this floor bar to try and actually grab it after the backflip. I'm afraid it's gonna break. Maybe <laughs> I should put a mat under it. What if it breaks? We can do it! It's standing on the bar that's scary. Look at his smile. He's more excited than I am. Alright, let's see. Oh 
baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no one else. Uh, more hits. No one else would teach me this. Oh really? They I said they I didn't don't know. want to. Well, I didn't. I didn't bother asking. I just knew you were as daring as me. So. See ya. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was good. All right, I'm going to rip off that bar. Right, you, I'm gonna uh, peel so much. Out of it? I don't know. What should I do no, out of it? Just swing out of it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll get my grips on. <laughs> R.I.P. Big question, should I go that way or that way? Yeah, if I go too far, I land on hard. If I peel that way though, that's probably worse. Land on the beans. We need to put mats, we gotta stack mats in here. Like just in the pit so it's like if you miss and you can just put your feet down, right? Genius. Because this edge would so the plan is to do a few going into the pit, just in case I go really far out. And then when I get closer, change directions and go onto the orange map while Tarek is on the spotting block. <laughs> That's why I wanted to go that way first, because you went so far. Here I was saying in Italian how I rewatched the videos and realized I looked like a crazy person jumping off that bar. I accidentally only recorded this in Italian, but I was saying how I was so happy to have survived the death loop and that I'm literally obsessed with the skill. It's so fun.
Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. <laughs> Please remember, safety first. Um, always be uh, protected, whether it's mats, heel pads, uh, whatever, and take the drills you need to take to prepare yourself as much as you can before you try a new skill. Make sure that your coach feels safe with you doing it and is able to spot like Tarek did for me today. Hopefully your coach freaks out just as much as Tarek did because that's really what made it like so much better is Tarek's reaction. He's awesome. Something I just love so much about gymnastics is that the code is filled with unlimited amount of skills. Like I'm 27 years old and I'm still learning skills. You can always like try a new series on beam or put a new combo together on bars, a, a new combo on floor, uh, try a new release move if you've ever tried. And I just never get bored. Like I, I thought maybe I'd grow out of it or get bored one day, but hasn't happened yet and I don't think it will anytime soon. If I stay healthy and strong, it's just spinach. Anyways, leave a like, share this video. XOXO, see you in the next video. And may the fire be within you. Ciao. Yeah, sorry, I'm still used to my Italian outros. Bye.